When I was young, my grandmother used to have dogs. Me and my sister had grown close to her dog. We played with it often and went to her house all the time to see it. The dog was smallish and very energetic. It loved to play tug of war. One day my grandmother said the dog was acting strange and had it taken to the vet. Only she had this problem where she would keep one for about a year, then think it was sick and have it put down. I waited weeks, but I never saw that dog again. Soon enough, another dog would take its place. I wanted to document my journey through the restricted zone. One might think of me as mad, as I'll probably not come back alive. I am not mad, and I surely do not dream. I packed enough food and supplies to hold me through five days three days of searching and two days leaving. If need be, I can sustain myself with fish from the stream. Wherever this journal might end up, the reader must be curious why I want to find the object. My life has been adequate up until now. I have learned many things and even loved for a while. I felt it was time to leave as there was one question hanging over my head for the longest time, one of which my life would not be complete without. It is now clear to me, after these last couple of days, the search is much harder than I thought. I ration out my food for a longer time. I can only hope that I don't die before I can find the object. More days have gone past. I wonder if I've already gone mad. I'm still being watched and I'm almost out of food. I'm tired. I look around at my surroundings often as they will serve as my tomb.
In my final hours in the woods, I thought not of the ones I loved or the regret of my past, but of nothing. I didn't feel like I should have thought of something. Once I close my eyes, I may never open them again.